Hello, dear students, and welcome to the Terabyte Elective ICT Past Questions and Tutorials. My name is Sebru, and on this episode, I will be taking you through a past question that is the private candidate WASI 2018 question one. It is an HTML question, and I will be taking you through the process of designing the form as you see below. So let's jump right into it and read our question. With the help of an appropriate text editor, create the HTML codes to produce the form below. The text editor we will be using is Notepad. B, set the title of the page to your full name and index number. The program codes must be properly indented. C, save the file as select.ht. M L. All right, so we can actually start answering this question by doing the first, the, the very first thing by saving the file. So just so we don't forget, let's just go ahead and then save the file. And we've been asked to save it as select.html and the file is saved. So we have tackled the C part of the question. Now to the main question, what we have on our screen by inspection is a form. The form has a label that says country of origin. And then there's a text box that actually leads us into a drop down menu. And there is a submit button. So to create this, we first have to create our basic HTML structure. Now we use the doc type HTML to declare to our browser that the document that we are creating is of the type HTML or it's a, an HTML document, right? Now we need to close this tag, which is our main tag within which everything else will be inserted. Now, in the basic HTML structure, we have the head. And we'll go ahead and close this. And within the head, we can have the title. Which will be displayed on top of your website as the title in the header. Now I can go ahead. After the head, we have the body. Every HTML code has a body and it is in the body that the actual codes for the form or the table that you'll be building will be showed, right? So we have HTML open tag, close tag here. We have head, open tag, close tag here. Yeah. We have title, open tag, close tag here. Yeah. We have body, open tag, close tag here. Yeah. We can go ahead and save this and then run it and see what we have so far. So we have select, okay, that is. And what do we have? We have the name or the title to be what? Select. Our next thing to do, as the question stipulates, that's the B part, is to set the title of the page to your full name and index number. So you're going to come and in the place of our title, you're going to type our full names. All right, we've already closed the title tag here. And we are going to go ahead and save it. So now we are going to refresh this page. And what happens is that our name is showing, Sebru 10112323. So that tackles the B part of the question. Now, it also says that the program codes must be properly indented. So we're going to ensure that. Let's bring this here. All right. 
so we are going to create this form that is before us. Now, as you can see, as we've already mentioned, um, this is basically a form and we are going to order our form using a table. So let's create the form tag. Go ahead and close it. Next, we insert our table into our form. And we close that too. So let's indent the code. So our body is our main container. Then we have the form. Then we have the table in the form. When the table closes out, the form closes out in the body. All right. Then our final ATMN close tag. This entire form is going to be within our table right so first of all we are going to have just one two rows the first row is going to have two columns country of origin and then the text box which is going to be a drop down menu that we are going to select options from then in row two you're going to have just the submit button so first let's create row one using the TR tag. So in the first row, we have two columns. You're going to create using the tag TD. So in the first column, we have what country of, of origin. Go ahead and close that tag. And in the same row, we have our drop down text box that we are going to use to select um, Ghana, Nigeria, Togo as options. So to do that, we're going to use the tag select. And just bring it down, select, we'll go ahead and close it right away. Okay, now what are we selecting? We are selecting options. So the next tag we're going to use to make available our options are options. Option, our first option is what? Ghana, close the option tag. Next option, next option is Nigeria. The last one, Togo. Sorry, option and Togo. Close the option tag and that's it. So we have three options. At this point, we are left with a submit button, but I would like to, okay, now, I haven't closed this tag. So I need to close that before. Also, so let me just go through. This row began from here and ends here. In this row, we have two columns. This is the first column, country of origin. Second column starts from here and it gets closed here. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to just save this for now and let us view our results. Okay, so we have country of origin and these are the options. These are the options. These are the options. So you can choose Nigeria, you can choose 
Togo. Okay. Um, I think the question showed us that the very first option is empty. So we can do that. We can add an empty option so that the person has to click on the drop down to access the rest. So here will be empty. We'll just go ahead and close our tag. Let's save this and let's view it. Okay. Perfect. So you click down and then you select the three. All right. Now our next task is to insert the submit button. The submit button would go onto another row and to create sorry, this closes this row. So it must next row will be below this. PR for our row two. And then we are going to close the TR tag. Awesome. So in our row, we are going to have our table data or table body. Go ahead and close it. Awesome. Now in this table body, what we want is a submit button, which should be in the first column, right? So we go ahead and we create the button using the input function or the type of data that we are expecting is a submit button. And its value is submit. All right. So we opened the row here. We've indeed closed it here. And we open the table data here. We've indeed closed it here. So it looks set. Let's save and then let's refresh. Awesome. So by doing this, we are done with our solution. By doing this, we are done with our solution. So thank you very much for tuning in. Catch you on the next episode. Cheers, guys.